Suri from Balloon Utopia, Market with Balloons, and today I'm going to show you how to make a um, green beer mug. So this is kind of a St. Patrick's thing. If you see this after St. Patrick's, you can do it with yellow and then it won't be green beer, it'll be yellow beer. Anyway, so what we're going to do for this is actually it's called a flat weave. So we start with two balloons, and this could take between three and five, no, maybe between four and five balloons to make. It just depends on your proportions. Okay, so to start off with, we need to make a little bubble on each side. And this is not necessarily a beginner's thing here. The flat weave, it's a little bit complicated because you're doing a lot of things at once. Anyhow, so to start, we want to measure off, oh, probably about, hmm, I guess that would be about six inches or so. It's probably a good size for a beer mug. And attach one balloon to the other. You see, I'm still holding my other bubble because then I want to bring that other balloon back here. Okay. And I know it's clear, so it's going to be a little bit hard to see. All right, so here's what we have so far. And now, hey, hey, happy birthday. All right, and now we take out the extra one that I had prepared just in case. I hate it when that happens. And I will admit that these clear balloons are probably a little bit old, so um, probably more fragile. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we need to go up a level. So we need to make a tiny little small bubble there and match it here on the other side with the tiny little small bubble. And now we're going to do basically the same thing that we just did, and that is we're going to make one, connect to the other, and then bring the other one around, find our center, and then the easiest way, and try, instead of trying to sew it through, is just hold them together and rotate one under the other, like so. Okay, so we're going to go up just maybe four to five levels, I think is sufficient. And we'll just kind of see as we go along how it works out. All right. And like I said, I know, I know with it being clear, it's hard to see. All right, I think, uh, I think four levels is probably good for a, for a good beer stein. All right, and like this. So this one, we can probably do it in three balloons. All right. So here's the basics of the beer mug. Now, whichever one is longer, I'm going to use that one to make the handle. So all I'm going to do is push the air out, bring it around, and then attach it to the pinch twist over here, like so. And this one I'm going to pinch twist and then get rid of it. Okay, and now I'm going to kind of wrap this through to tighten it up a little bit, just like that, all right? And then get that, get rid of that. Okay, so now we have kind of a nice little mug, but where's the beer, right? So we're going to take a green 260. Um, yeah, we'll do lime green. Why not? And we're just going to fold it in half and stick. Ah, and there we go. Wait, wait, it's okay. It's okay. All right, going off camera for a sec. Here we go. I got it back. Okay, so we're going to, and you see that in order to widen it, I kind of like squished each the sides together to kind of form that pocket. So we're just going to kind of fold it in half and just gently kind of work it down inside of our mug. And then tie it off. Okay, there's one there. One there. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we need, and for right now, I'm just going to leave those pieces sticking up. And the last thing that we need is a white balloon. This one is fully inflated. We do not want it fully inflated. Um, we want it halfway inflated. So I'm actually just going to let half of the air out because I don't know where the white balloons are right now. So another lesson in balloons, just because the air goes in doesn't mean that you have to keep it in. All right. So here's what we want is we want it not even half inflated, maybe just a third inflated because we're going to make a whole bunch of tiny little bubbles. Okay. And now here's the thing about making tiny little bubbles. As long as you control the first bubble and the last bubble, it won't come unraveled. Okay. But you always need to have contact with the first bubble and the last bubble. So I'm just kind of holding it with my finger there to my palm and I'm just going to let it kind of come out from my fingers like this. The sizes really don't matter. This is for the head of foam on the beer. And I'll admit I'm not much of a beer drinker, so I could not tell you the correct terms and whatnot. And because I um, 
because I took a balloon that was previously inflated and took some air out, it's a little bit harder for me to do it right now because there's not as much pressure to hold it. Um, so, you know, if you inflate it to the right size to begin with, you're going to have, it's going to be easier. You'll have better results. But anyways, so you just kind of keep on going until you run out of balloon. All right, so you see I've just got this big circle of bubbles coming, just like that. Keep on going. And now my balloon is too tight for me to twist. Oh no, whatever will I do? Not a big deal. So, okay, so now you see what I've done is I've twisted my first bubble to my last bubble. And then um, this one, since it's like so fully inflated, I'm just going to put a tiny little tear in it there. And then I'm just going to tie it off. So I just have my small bubbles. Okay, and now I just can kind of twist it together. It doesn't have to be like a perfect form because it is kind of the, the foam, right? So that's what these little bubbles here are for. Oops, let me pick this up so you can see it. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of like arrange this so it's just kind of like a, just a bunch of bubbles and like grapes or something like that. And then I'm just going to tie it, tie it in using these little pieces that I have still standing up here. And then I might want to, you know, twist this one over here to kind of make it a little bit more like that. And maybe twist this one into here. The, the foam itself, it's like it's always going to be kind of different because, well, because it's foam. You don't want it to be like too um, perfect because then it just won't make any sense. So here we go. We have a beautiful, nice glass of delicious green beer. <laughs>